The first rule of soccer is to never ever lose control of the ball. Come on, guys, let's have at it. Please don't tell. A very, very special thanks to our subscribers. You are amazing. When it comes to protecting and learning about animal safety, only a few rooms are brave enough to handle such a task. Huh. Mm -hmm. Des, have you seen my laser pointer? I'm pretty sure you were the last plush to mess with it. I've been frightened. Someone has been messing with me once again. Des, you're a rap boy. My laser is nowhere to be found. Last week you used it to play safari trackers. <laughs> safari trackers was really fun. Hmm. Hmm. No, seriously. Huh? Where is it? Molly, I kind of feel like someone's trying to blame me for this. No one wants to mess with you. You're right. I'm way too adorable to mess with. And not just me. Chippy loves your animal facts, Peppy thinks you're cool, and Leo... Guys! Oh! <sighs> What's wrong, Leo? Guys! Look at what HM just recorded! Does. It is probably a dragon. Maybe it lives on top of the veterinarian's office. <laughs> Are you telling me that you just saw a dragon on this planet we call home? Yeah. Yeah, Molly, think about it. The tail, the eyes, the ball pit of fire. Fire? Oh, well, not really, but he was about to, I swear. I don't think dragons come to the vet often. Probably another animal. What do you think, Des? Eyes, tail... Likely not a fire breather. <gasps> I think I have an idea. Everybody, follow me. Yeah. Huh. Ha. 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 Catus. Felis Catus. Ah. Crikey, mates! Gather round for some possum cat fix. Number one, right and reflex. Ever seen a cat do a mid-air flip? It's thanks to the special collarbone. Number two, supersonic ears. Cats are like undercover agents with ears tuned to ultrasonic frequencies. They can hear stuff we can't. Number three, whisker GPS. Whiskers aren't just cute. They're like a cat's built-in GPS. These face feelers help them navigate tight spots and explore with precision. Number four, nap kings. Cat nap royalty alert. These furballs spend a whopping 70% of their lives in dreamland. Number five, night vision pros. Turns out cats are the nocturnal ninjas of the animal kingdom. Their eyes reflect light, giving them top-notch night vision. More cat facts. Number one, Egyptian cat royalty. Picture ancient Egypt, where cats were treated like furry pharaohs. They even had a goddess named Bastet. Number two, lightning quick reflexes. They were top-notch mouse catchers. Those tiny paws were highly valued for pest control. Number three, Maine Coon Marvels. Jump over to the USA, where the Maine Coon reigns as a giant fluff ball. They are like the gentle giants of the feline world. Number four, waving Japanese luck kids. Meet the Japanese Maniki Neko, a beckoning cat spreading good vibes with a raised paw. Oh, so cute. Number five, cat extravaganza. Did you know there are over 70 different cat breeds worldwide? It's like a global cat party. That's it for now, mates. Stay tuned for more perfect facts next time. So you see, 
It was all Felis Curtis. <laughs> Not dragon lizard stuff. Hmm, although I would love to ride dragons in the sky and learn all about... Stars! Stop staring into the distance! You're right, Leo. No time to lose. Let's go to the magical mystery door. Each thing here is super special for our cat buddies. Let me break it down for you. We've got high spots for cats to climb and scratch like their own jungle gym. It's exercise time. Then there are cool toys that cats love to play with using their teeth and tongues. Fun, right? Comfy beds because they snooze over 70% of the time. I'd love to sleep 70% of the day. <laughs> Don't miss the water ponds. Last but not least, there's a buffet of food. Oh, no, no. Mm. Uh. Oh. Hi. I'm taking this back. Hold on, Daz. Pew, pew. Ah! Huh? Ah! <gasps> Your ears. Uh, here. <laughs> Come on, Ocham. Let's get ready. Three, two, and action. Hey there. <laughs> I hope you guys learned what we should do with a cat. <laughs> so, like, give them awesome toys to play with. Either by themselves or with your folks keeping an eye. Make sure they've got lots of room to roam and explore. Don't forget to feed them every single day so they're never hungry. And what we shouldn't do is, well, what I just did. You got really messed up, Daz. Luckily, I'm a cute stuffed animal. Nurse Molly can fix me up real quick. But you know, if folks at home try the same stunt, they might actually get hurt. So take it easy and be careful, okay? But don't worry about me, my little ankle biters. See you next time to explore more exciting domestic animals. Until next time, see ya! And we are done. Nice episode, Daz. Being a detective was heaps fun, but I reckon I'm done with that gig. Really? Yeah, I prefer helping animals with you guys way more. It's the best. Oh, Dad. And playing safari trickers too.